1969, when Garrett Brown started a film production company, he kept his camera shot steady the same way cinematographers had since the time of black and white silent films. I had an 800 pound dolly that you know, my small crews had to lift into pickup trucks and schlep around. As a result, the cameraman shots were limited to the amount of dolly track he owned, six lengths of rusted steel that enabled 24 seconds of smooth shooting. Brown longed for a way to capture steady, handheld camera images while scaling steps, walking, or running. Launching on, the, on that quest was huge. After several prototypes showed promise, Brown put himself into creative lockup for a week in a Philadelphia hotel room. A flash of insight came looking at the room's spring-loaded, swivel-arm lamp, which he took apart and reassembled into the model for a revolutionary new way to capture fluid images with a mobile camera. His brown stabilizer had a distributed center of balance, a spring-loaded arm to let an attached movie camera move smoothly, a vest worn by the cameraman to support the unit's weight, and a six-foot length of fiber optic cable as the extendable viewfinder. Almost immediately when it was put together, it worked. And we shot 30 impossible shots in a couple days and roared off to LA. The demo reel brown screened in Tinseltown landed a licensing deal with Cinema Products Corporation, commercializing his legendary patented camera stabilizer in 1976. As the world's first, and for many years only, operator of a body-mounted camera stabilizer, Brown shot a series of iconic film sequences, and the use of his invention defined the dynamic and fluid look of music videos and top television dramas in the 1980s and 90s. Brown extended his camera stabilizer into a series of patented relatives, including Skycam, Mobicam for underwater shots, and dive cam. Garrett Brown began with the individual desire to get steadier handheld movie shots, and in the process succeeded in changing the way we all see the world.